Hello from Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter. What's up, Mickey Blog fam? This is Miranda. I am so excited to be here at the French Quarter today to give you a tour in case you ever want to stay here. This is home of the Mickey Beignets, uh, so we will be indulging in those later. But first, some logistics. This resort is closest to Disney Springs, so your easiest transportation will be taking you to Disney Springs. To get you to the other parks and water parks, you will have to take bus, rideshare, taxi, whatever it might be. So there are three tiers to the Disney resorts. You have your value, your moderate, and your deluxe. This is a moderate resort. So if you're looking here on the Disney World website, you can see that the cheapest that you could stay here for a family of four would be around $291. That is for a standard view room. You do have your garden view rooms, your river view rooms, your king size bed, which would be more than that $291 per night. We are walking here towards the front of the French Quarter, but as we turn over here towards our left, you will be able to see the bus stop. This is where you'll be able to hop on board the buses to be able to get to your resort park or water park. Walking in towards the lobby and on your left, you'll be able to find the Scat Cats Club Lounge, Sasa Ugla, which is where you'll be able to get your beignets, and then your quick service options in there as well. Over towards your right, you will be able to find where you can check in to your resort room. I love this fountain in here. I think it's just beautiful. I love the little details of Port Orleans details. Definitely gives Mardi Gras vibes and I love it. It's so beautiful in here. Since I am here in the morning hours, I am going to come back over there uh, into your quick service areas and the beignets and show that off a little bit more a little later once the crowd levels die down. Going over here towards the right, this is where you can check in to your resort room, but this is where you can also find the arcade and also the gift shop. So let's see what they have in the gift shop area. Here in the gift shop, you'll find a few things like regular merch items that you'll find in the shops, just on a smaller scale. You'll find swimsuits, sunscreen, goggles, because there is a beautiful pool here. Some ears like these beignet ears, which do in fact smell like beignets. You also find items like snacks in here, Tiana specific items. And you'll find a little area over here where you can grab any medicine that you might need, baby food, and just, you know, your generic things in case you forgot on your trip. There are some items like beers and wines, sports drinks, waters, and lunchable items. At every resort, you do find resort specific items. So you have the queen herself, queen of the bayou on all of the resort specific merch over here. This beautiful bag, I'm obsessed with that. Tumblers, mugs, coffee cups, a beautiful scarf given like uh, New Orleans vibes, love that. And if you want to take a hand at making your own beignets, they have beignet mix, they have coffee, and they also have praline mix. They also have some gumbo seasoning, which I might want to take home. And they also have this Cajun blackened seasoning and some gumbo base in case you want to try and re recreate some delicious eats in your own home. As we are exiting the souvenir shop, we enter into the check-in area again, and we are going to continue down over here into the arcade. But real quick, I wanna pay note to these. These over here are portable charges. You will find these throughout all of the resorts and the parks. You buy these, it comes with all of this right here and it's a ref refillable uh, fuel rod. Essentially you pop it back in and it pulls out a brand new charged, fully charged, portable charger, ready to go, swappable, does not cost to swap, just costs for a one-time fee of $30 for that kit, or you can also buy it on Amazon before you even get here on your Disney World vacation. Now on to the arcade. <laughs> this is so cute. It's much smaller, it looks like, it looks smaller, but it's actually not. This arcade actually, like, I mean, you can, you can see, it looks small, it looks like there's not much here, but we're gonna keep on going over here. And it keeps on going. Much bigger than you might think. There is so much fun activities in here. I love having arcades in the resorts. I think it's just fun for kids of all ages, especially me. I am a huge 
fan of arcades. There's so many good games in here, like air hockey. Are you kidding? I'm obsessed. The racing games. I always lose at those. I was going to say I was going to win, but honestly, I'm not going to give myself that much props. You got pinball. You can snowboard. You can shoot some hoops. And you can ski ball. I think it's a fairly good arcade in here. Making my way out here back towards the main lobby and we're gonna head on straight outside and you'll hit the pool area as you walk on out here. Not to mention that this resort is just absolutely beautiful. I think the foliage, the architecture, the design of it all is just truly beautiful. Checking out this map over here. So you have, there's two different Port Orleans. You have the Riverside, which is this top half here. And then you have the French Quarter, which is that bottom half here. So the French Quarter is essentially the smaller part in like large scale. Um, there are a lot more rooms and buildings over on the Riverside side. But the French Quarter side has the beignets. Just, I'm just prefacing that they do have beignets over here, which I love. While I'm looking at the map, there is in fact only one pool over here at the French Quarter, Port Orleans Resort, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six pools over at the Riverside Resort. So that's that just goes to show how massive the Riverside Resort is in comparison to the French Quarter Resort. Something that I bet really love about this resort is that it just makes you kind of feel like you're walking the streets of New Orleans. Look at these gators playing the instruments. I think that's super cute. This playground right here is for the enjoyment of children ages five years old to 12 years old. They do have to be supervised at all times, but it is a cute little playground to get those little wiggles out of your littles. As the playground is on the right side of this street, we're gonna head on over to the left side of this street. And there is this little itty bitty 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 pool right on over here. It's super duper small. It's basically just the spa. It's a hot tub. It's not, not that exciting. Uh, it's, it's a hot tub and a very small one at that, I will say. As we continue down this walk here in the Mardi Gras uh, themed resort, you are going to reach this gesture, which is a Mardi Gras. It, it, everything is around, themed around Mardi Gras. And this pool, so cool. I'm obsessed with this pool. Oh God, I love him. He's so cute. Got the gesture up here. You have more gators and more themed around that. It is a pretty massive pool. There's a lot of fun slides. Like you have that slide over there. You have this big, large pool area right here. And then over here on your right, as we pass this little gator guy over here, this is the aquatic play area. This is for the enjoyment of children under 48 inches. Here's that scale, 48 inches and under are able to enjoy this beautiful splash pad. I think it is so fun and so cute. I am obsessed with it. Look at it, it's so fun. <laughs> Your kids would be able to have so much fun over in this play area. It is actually quite massive. You don't see this super often at resorts, but this is a massive splash pad. Right here at the entrance of the pool, at the end of the street as well, you have Mardi Grogs. This is where you'll be able to find the pool bar. Pool bar over here opens about at 11 a.m. Grab a drink, sit by the pool, relax, unwind from your long, long Disney day. Another thing that I love about this resort and just living in the South in general, that there are magnolia trees everywhere and they are in full bloom right now and they smell so good. I love the smell of magnolia flowers. So, so good. Here's another view of the pool. You can see that big old slide. Very large and lovely pool. Made it over here to the back side of the pool. And this is where you will be able to find the Sasaugla River Cruise. This is a scenic cruise to Disney's Port Orleans Riverside and Disney Springs. Here is the running trail information for all of you runners out there. It is a 1.7 mile trail and it shows you the map here. Waving goodbye to the boats. Bye boats. <laughs> Have fun in Disney Springs, people. 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna check out some more of the resort. I love this resort. I think it's beautiful. I, I mean, it's very, the foliage is great. I think it's just very simple, clean. I love the colors of the buildings, how colorful they are. This is an outdoor accessible resort. Very, very beautiful. There's not much else to see outside of the main hub and the lobby area. You just find a lot of resort buildings. I do appreciate how large the numbers are, so you can find your room building a lot easier. While this is a motel styled resort, there are in fact elevators in case you do need them. Aside from the rest of the resort just being your standard rooms, we have made it back over to the pool area. And I think we're gonna finally head in and go get some beignets. I think it is time. My stomach is rumbling. So let's go check out that quick service. Also, of course, get beignets. Made it back over here. This is the main location. The lobby area is right in front of me. Over here, you have that Jackson Square, which is those, the gift area and where you can find the arcade. We're heading on over here to Sasagula, which is where you can find your giant quick service location and also where you can get those famous Mickey beignets. There is mobile order pickup here at this location. Let's see what we can get. There is, it is breakfast time right now, so you can currently get a bunch of pancakes, your famous Mickey waffles. You can also get shrimp and grits here when it's not breakfast hours. Let's see what kind of desserts that they have that might be resort specific. Wishing on Stars, which is a Tiana styled one. You also have the Mardi Gras King cake. There are a lot of things that you can get, like you can get scrambled eggs, oatmeal, bacon and egg sandwiches, loaded tacho bowl for breakfast. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. Potato barrels topped with scrambled eggs, cheddar, sausage, gravy, and bacon. <gasps> Y'all, you know anything about Miranda? Miranda's obsessed with tachos in Hollywood Studios Toy Story, and there's a breakfast version. That's what they look like. Oh, it went away. Oh my goodness. Since I am here at breakfast, I am going to show the items that you can get during lunch and dinner off of my phone. You can get a Korean fried chicken bowl, bacon cheddar cheeseburger, grilled chicken sandwich, cheddar cheeseburger, chicken strips, um, honey barbecued pork sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, get pizzas, different salad options. There's a plant-based Korean style impossible burger, a cheeseburger, chickens and vegetables with pasta, kids meals items, side items and there's also some mickey celebrations desserts bakery items snacks wow fresh fruit there are so many options here for lunch and dinner as well one of my favorite things about staying at a disney resort is that you can enjoy refills uh, with these you can enjoy refills with these styled cups there are a couple different options throughout the resorts uh, you can get the 100th one right now. It is $21.99. You can enjoy refills of fountain drinks, coffee, and tea at any of the resort self-serve beverage locations for the entire length of your resort stay. Paying more notes to the theme in it here. You can see these beads up here, which look like Mardi Gras beads. I love those. Making my exit out of the Sasa Ugla Floatworks and Food Factory. We're heading on over here to the Scats Cat club cafe where you can get those amazing mickey beignets you can get also a few beverage items you can get mickey shaped beignet sunday baton rouge beignets you can get coffee you can get joffrey's coffee here chocolate milk apple juice juices bottled water milks but we are after beignets while it does not say it on the menu, you can get allergy-friendly, gluten-free beignets. I had, did confirm with cast member, and I also saw some just come out. It does take a little bit longer, but if you have an allergy, want gluten-free beignets, they do have that option available here. For the dipping options, you can get caramel, chocolate, and strawberry. I went ahead and grabbed chocolate and caramel, and here are these lovely very powdery, yummy, delicious piles of goodness that I'm about to devour. Is this a nutritional breakfast? Absolutely not. Do I care? Absolutely not. So good. Doughy, powdered sugary. I don't even know. Just delicious. My pants were black. Now they are kind of white. Um, and the table, the aftermath of beignets, they were, yeah, just, they're delicious though. Now for me, I am a caramel person when it comes to beignets. I'm a caramel person in general when it comes to, in a vote between caramel and chocolate, it's always gonna be caramel. 
but they have the caramel, they have the chocolate, and they have the strawberry. I'm curious what y'all think. Is it caramel? Is it strawberry? Is it chocolate? Let me know in the comments because I am a, I'm a caramel fan. Strawberry kind of, definitely not the chocolate. For some reason, I just don't vibe with this chocolate, but caramel, so delicious. So I'm curious, what do you guys, have you, if you've had Mickey beignets, what is your vote? Now that I have finished the Mickey beignets, we're gonna head back on down the Mardi Gras parade of alligators, and we're gonna hit up the pool bar because there is this hidden detail that I didn't know about until I went on board the uh, Disney Wonder with Kayla that there is a Beta here, and Beta is a native New Orleans beer, and so we're gonna go try that today. A Beta is that New Orleans home-based brewery. Uh, it looks like they have purple haze and they also have amber lager. I think I'm gonna grab the purple haze. We'll see. I have tried this before on the Disney Wonder. This is the only place that you can get this besides the Disney Wonder because it is New Orleans specific. New Orleans home brewery. Let's give it a taste. I got the purple haze Abita. I really enjoy it. I think it's very refreshing, perfect for a pool drink, and plus it gives some more notes and home, uh, home style to your New Orleans theming in here, which I really appreciate. Something that I love about the Abita beers is that they're all just very easy drinking beers. They're very light. I'm trying, the lovely cast member gave me a taste of the amber because I haven't had it. I find it a little bit lighter to drink than the Purple Haze. Purple Haze just has a little bit more flavor in the raspberry terms. It's a little bit more on the bitter side because of those raspberry flavors, but I really enjoy it. I, I, I find them both very easy drinking beers. Um, Abita Brewery, I would love to visit someday. Maybe I will. But right now, if you like a good drinking, easy drinking beer by the pool, definitely check out the Abitas. They're delicious. The Abita was lovely. Now I'm going to head on over here to give you a very quick room tour. I love just like how simple the details are and just how like subtle kind of the Disney vibe is. I love a resort that doesn't, I love the resorts that are fun and colorful and magical, but the resorts that have those hidden little Disney subtle details are also so beautiful in my opinion. Let's check out these recreational activities throughout the resort and also on your My Disney Experience app. If you do not have that, I highly recommend that you get it. You'll be able to find the recreational activities. For example, you can see Movie Under the Stars at 8.30 p.m. Uh, that is between the buildings of 5 and 6 on the grass. Sundays, you can see Sleeping Beauty. Tuesday, you can see Up. Thursdays, you can see The Good Dinosaur. And Saturday, you can see Toy Story. So today it is Tuesday, so you get to see Up for example. Other fun activities that they have, they have a uh, pool area activities. Looks like we got a dance party and a courtyard. You got Mickey tie-dye, arts and craft, 
more tie-dye, more arts and crafts. You can get, mo you can take a mosaic class on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. at the Scats Cat Club. There's an arcade challenge at 7.30 p.m. Um, there's also a glow party. I want to do a glow party. That sounds so fun, but there's so many fun activities uh, throughout many of the Disney World resorts, and I just love how it brings an extra piece of magic to your Disney World vacation. I love this resort. It's very simple to understand. Everything's in kind of one central location outside of the regular uh, rooms and buildings to get to your room. Everything is in that central location. You have Scat Cats, you have Sasa Ugla, you have the pool, you have the pool bar. Everything is in that central hub, which I really, really appreciate how simple this resort really is. It's smaller um, and it's very easy to understand in my opinion, which is very nice for me personally. <laughs> Recap, this is a Disney Springs Resort. You have to take the bus or you have to take a Uber, taxi, whatever it might be, Lyft, those types of things to get to the Disney parks and the water parks. But this is a Disney Springs Resort, so you can take the water taxis over to the Disney Springs and to the other resort, which is the Riverside Resort. I personally love this resort. I love how simple it is. I love the theme in here and I love that there's Mickey beignets. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to stay at this resort, we highly recommend that you check out our friends over at Mickey Travels. They are our diamond level travel agency that will be able to book, plan, and make your trip the most magical possible, especially if you want to stay here or any of the Disney resorts. They will be able to answer all questions that you have ever. As always, my name is Miranda. This has been a magical day showing you around Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter. There's so many more videos to come and I hope you have a magical one. Bye!